In this example, I just created a knob where um, in order to make this, I use the polynerbs. I created this element here. Let me show you better. Uh, this is very, very simple. You can see how many, how a few points we have. Um, and I just replicated this uh, all around. So when I did this uh, replication, um, uh, the replication tool allows me um, to, to do many things like uh, to have mirror copies. And we'll see in a second. Uh, here we have the number of, uh, of copies. So you can play and have how many copies as you want. Now, the nice thing here is that um, I used a, another interesting function of Studio, which is the design table, where um, this design table uh, is um, uh, a place where you can store um, variables. Like I added here the uh, number of copies. Uh, you can have a minimum and a maximum value which I decided so that I, um, I don't mess up the model. I have seen that you can go lower than four and you can go higher than 22 so that I constrain these two values. And from here, um, anyone, even if uh, uh, the person didn't make this model and doesn't know how to, to use it, <clears throat> has the ability to change this value um, because um, there's a, a range that it's already set. So there's no problem in uh, ruining the, the parametricity of the model so that you can um, play around and uh, have multiple um, uh, elements here, though the replication is well controlled. Now, as you see, when I start increasing this number, there's something very interesting that start happening. So these elements start to blend together. So as I go, say 12, so this starts blending and there's a reason, of course, um, and uh, I'm going to show you now. So this is, is the design table where, where you can control easily the model. Now, let me show you uh, the tool itself where we have um, many parameters. So let's go, let's say, to eight. Uh, first of all, we have the mirror copies. So instead of, um, if I remove this, I mean, we just have the regular um, uh, pattern so that all of the copies are the same. Uh, if I want to do something different, then I can have the mirror copies uh, activated, uh, just activate the checkbox, and I get a different pattern. So this is very interesting a lot of times. And you can see here, there's, a, let me show you from the top view, uh, there's a couple lines, this one here and this one here. So these are where the geometry got cut where it gets trimmed in order to be blended with the adjacent ones so that if I increase say I go to 14 you see here this is going to be cut so that the other one that gets mirrored on the other side is, is uh, connected and it's blended together that's the mechanism so it does everything for you and you can always uh, adjust the two lines um, based on the geometry. So um, now uh, if we want to go uh, higher, we can go as high as um, 22, because uh, in this case is the maximum, otherwise um, uh, the, uh, the cutting is not going to work properly. But now I want to show you something else. So um, we are we have done our work, our knob is, is pretty fine, and I can make a Boolean and some fillet and I'm done with the cat geometry. But I can also take this one and uh, um, um, show the original geometry. And I can play with that because that's one of the interesting thing of studio that you do things, but then you can even change them easily and see how the model reacts and maybe you get new ideas. So uh, of course, as you finish to do it, you save the model and then you might you want to play a few seconds just to see if you get a better idea respect to what you, you got already. So I select a few points. I uh, want to say to move this up and sometimes you get results that you didn't think of. Um, so this is, for example, pretty interesting. Um, if I take this, these four points here and I move them down, then I'm going to have something even more interesting 
uh, it's hard to imagine and to think of. So that now we are, say, now we, we did a mistake, we went too far, so I go back a little bit. And this is pretty interesting. So you see, what, what I'm saying here is that uh, not only you can do the work, you can also explore and experiment and see how many other ideas come up. Um, and it's a matter of seconds sometimes, you see, and you got pretty pretty cool uh, result, which you can like or not, but you didn't spend so much time uh, working on.